Hello, my name is Melinda McKeska, and my husband and I have owned Champion Restoration since 04. We started out in our home, actually. Uh, we had three kids at the time. Now we have five. Uh, my husband has been in restoration all of his um, career. We're family owned. We understand what a homeowner goes through. We uh, commit to every homeowner that we will treat them the way we want to be treated. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about hurricane preparedness. One of the most important things is going to be your homeowner's policy. So let me ask you, do you know where it is? Do you know what the deductible is? Do you know what the coverages are? Do you have water coverage? Do you have flood insurance? These are all things that are critical when it comes to filing a claim or after you have a disaster. Those folks um, that have that information, when they call in to us, we are very quick to respond. We have all the documents we need for the claim associate and we can help the consumer very quickly. The safest thing would be to leave town if you can two to three days before a storm, okay? Boarding up your windows, getting all those things that are outside that are not tied down into your home, and then leaving safely. A lot of times it's not an option. So my suggestion is gonna to be to make sure you have a safe room in your home, that you know where that is as well as your, uh, your children, that it's on the interior of the home, that it is not upstairs, it's on the first floor. The other thing is going to be what you're going to have to have on hand, necessities. Toiletries are a necessity. Bug spray is going to be a necessity, especially in Houston. Extra batteries, flashlights, uh, you need a battery powered uh, radio, you need a uh, first aid kit, non-perishable food items, also cash because when there is a disaster you cannot count on an ATM machine. Uh, the other critical thing is going to be medications. If you have or any of your family are on you know, daily medications, you need to make sure that you have that. Water is also something that is really essential. If there is a disaster, they are going to have where you know, they put notices out um, on the sewer systems and on the drinking water that you can't. You, know, you need to boil it and you're not going to have the abilities to do that either. Making sure that you have uh, photos of your structure and your contents. The reason that's important, and this is prior to damage, okay, because the policy will read that your home will be returned into a pre-loss condition, but you are the only one that knows what that condition is. So you need to be able to convey to the worker, the construction company, to the restoration company, and to that claim adjuster what you had prior to the loss. What type of cabinetry, what type of flooring, if you had special murals, if you had special wall painting, all that is critical to getting back to where you were before the, before the loss occurred. Prepare yourself on who you're going to call. You can find out from your insurance carrier, they're going to have preferred vendor lists. Uh, you can ask your agent, you can search your Better Business Bureau website, but know that ahead of time because as you probably already know, when we have a disaster in any city, you're going to have those fly-by-nights companies that come in here, they establish routes for temporary periods of time, they cannot guarantee warranties, although they'll say they can, um, and a lot of times they will just, they're scam artists, they'll just take your money and they'll leave. Many of you remember back uh, for Hurricane Ike and that was in 2008. Uh, we had made some stops. The phones were ringing like crazy. Um, people are frantic. We were stopping to get some supplies ourselves for our crews, and people were in the grocery stores at HEB just crying, you know, running up to us because we had shirts on that said restoration, and they were asking, you know, could, what do y'all do? I mean, could we, you know, our home, our roof's gone. I mean, in hysteria. And it really does not have to be that way. Yes, there's trauma in it. But knowledge is power, and if you understand ahead of time what can happen, and you are prepared for what can happen, and you know who to call and you make those phone calls, then you're on a list. We can be quick to respond. We can assure you that we'll take care of your job and do it the right way. Um, and we work with your insurance company directly, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. So just be prepared um, in all the arenas that I've mentioned, and be safe.